Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jessica Jolio and I'm in Charleston, South Carolina for a couple days of fun and traveling and sightseeing for my mom's birthday. We are now on day number three, so if you are just tuning in, hit that subscribe button because I think there's one more video coming and there's two previous ones that you can check out if you hop on over to my channel. But if you are just tuning in with the interest of seeing what the Magnolia Plantation looks like, you are in luck because today we are renting a car, we are getting outside of Charleston, we're gonna go check out some plantations. For sure the Magnolia Plantation, perhaps another one, and then we're gonna go maybe head towards the beach. We don't really have a firm set of plans, but the title of this video will give it all away. So, sounds good, off we go. We started our day with a visit to the Magnolia Plantation and Gardens. Now, there are quite a few plantation houses about 30 minutes outside of Charleston that you can go visit. We did research all of them. They all look fantastic. However, what made me want to go to the Magnolia Plantation is that it's known for its gardens. And those who know me well know that I love a garden. So that was what sold us on this one. Um, and interestingly, Magnolia says that it is Charleston's most visited plantation. When you arrive to Magnolia Plantation, it's really easy. You drive down this incredibly long driveway and when you get to the parking lot, the parking lot attendant helps you navigate your car to where you're supposed to park. It's really easy. And then from there, it's just a short walk around to the ticket counter. And there are a few signs as you would kind of queue up in line that would show you kind of different options. General admission is $20, but then there's a few other things that you can kind of tack on to the general admission to add to the experience. We opted to do this kind of train trolley tour, which takes you through a lot of the plantation and explains a lot of the uh, kind of background and history of the plantation. You get up and close with some of the wildlife. They show you kind of where all the gators and all the cool birds are. And then they also explain to you a bit about the gardens. I would recommend doing this. It's an hour trolley ride. It's especially great if you are traveling to the plantation with those that are less able-bodied. Super nice, the guides are super knowledgeable and friendly and it goes by kind of in a whiz. Now for a little history on the Magnolia Plantation. Magnolia was founded in 1676 by the Drayton family, and the Magnolia Plantation has survived for centuries. It's essentially survived the American Revolution through the Civil War, tons of hurricanes and storms, and so many more. It's known as the oldest public tourist site in Low Country, the oldest public gardens in America, and it officially opened its doors to visitors in 1870 to view the numerous kind of beautiful flowers and plants and the famous gardens. Magnolia Plantation also boasts itself as America's last large romantic garden in the country. I'm not so sure what that means, but we're gonna take their word for it. I would recommend that you do the trolley tour versus trying to walk through kind of all of the wooden and swamp lands on your own. Unless you're like a marathon walker who really just wants to explore, I didn't find this part of the tour the most exciting, but I was also happy that I did it, if that makes sense. I don't think I would have enjoyed kind of trying to traipse through the woods or traipse through kind of the areas where the swamp lands are, but I did enjoy sitting on the trolley and learning about the history, learning about the wildlife, and learning more about kind of the plantation overall. So I would think if you're on the fence, it's only an extra $10 and you have to pay the $20 general admission no matter what. So I would say that it's worth it.
The tour ends at the plantation house. We decided not to do the plantation house tour, but to instead just wander through and enjoy the gardens. I mean, as I mentioned, I love gardens, so this is the part that I was the most excited for. And unfortunately, we came in early June, and I think if you want to enjoy the gardens and you're like me and you love flowers and and that kind of piece of it, I think you need to go earlier in the spring because sadly there just wasn't that much in bloom. But where the tour drops you, um, it does drop you kind of by this beautiful white bridge area. And it's funny because everyone on the trolley makes a beeline for like the plantation house area and kind of what's around that. I would recommend doing the opposite and make a beeline for the bridge area. Go wander through there because in better times you're going to see so many more flowers there like hydrangeas or camellias, daffodils or azaleas. Unfortunately, those just weren't available but I really loved kind of wandering through that bridge area and also just seeing all of the trees. So on the trees you see the most amazing moss hanging from them and I learned something interesting while at Magnolia Plantation. The moss is actually called Spanish moss and it is gets its name from the early Spaniards who constantly threatened the colony of South Carolina. So I don't know if that's a positive thing, but it actually is quite beautiful. And apparently the moss is a member of the pineapple family. It is not a parasite. It does not harm the tree and it draws all of its nourishment from the air. So the more you know. But so what we really liked is we want we took such a long walk through this one section of the gardens with the bridges, taking in all the stunning trees, posing for photos, enjoying kind of the a few sights of birds here and there. And then we stopped into the gift shop at the plantation house. <laughs> We also stopped into the biblical garden, but I have to say I wasn't super impressed by it. It was small, but um, there was kind of a nice sign of the cross uh, fixture with lots of flowers in it, which was lovely. <music> practical tips if you're going to come to the Magnolia Plantation. So as mentioned, it is a little pricey. Probably plan for something between 20 to anywhere on like 40 bucks a person depending on what you want to do. $20 is general admission, but for example, if you want to do like the plantation house and the trolley tour or kind of one of the kind of slave history tours, those are each another $10. And there were like four different of those kind of a la carte options that you could do, each of which was $10. So I think the maximum you could spend per person, per adult would be 60. Now there are reduced prices for children, so go on their website to check that out. I would also definitely recommend wearing sneakers because you are kind of wandering through 
dirt paths, gardens, kind of different types of terrain. So I think sneakers are a must. It is mostly shaded there, but definitely put on your sunscreen, wear your sunglasses, etc. Also, definitely you can bring your own bottled water in. There is a cafe on site called the Peacock Cafe. We did see the namesake Peacock roaming around a bit and kind of squawking at people, which was fun. But there is a cafe on site, but you can also bring your own bottled water in or you can purchase food and beverage at the Peacock Cafe or the gift shop also has really cold drinks as well. Oh, one last recommendation as well. So if you're like me and you like to film things or take lots of pictures, if you do take the trolley tour, I would recommend sitting on the left aisle seat. I sat all the way on the right aisle seat and I didn't think I had as good of a view. I think more prime attractions happen on the left-hand side, so hot tip for you there. After the Magnolia Plantation, we decided we wanted to head to the beach, and on our bucket list was going to see Kiowa Island. Now, there are so many different beaches and islands just outside of Charleston. You have, I think, just to the north, East is Sullivan's Island, but then kind of below uh, Charleston you have like Folly Beach, you have St. John's Island, you have Kiowa Island, so there's quite a few. And what attracted us to Kiowa Island is my dad loves golf, and we do have some family heritage dating back to the Charleston area, so my mom kind of knows a lot about Kiowa Island. So we did a bit of research, and what we learned is there is one public beach. Um, which I will leave linked down below um, on Kiowa Island. So if you do want to visit, we didn't end up going to that beach because we were really hungry for lunch by the time we finished the Magnolia Plantation tour. And it was going to take us about one hour to drive from Magnolia Plantation to Kiowa. So probably not your average kind of day trip outside of Charleston, but we only had the car for one day. So why not? And after a little bit of research and menu stocking, I thought my dad would really love going to the Ryder Cup Bar, which is at the um, Kiowa Island, I think, golf club. And it's way on like the far end of the island. So, you know, we literally probably had to drive 20 minutes through the island to get there. And my parents were getting more and more skeptical. And I'm like, just wait for it. It's going to be awesome. And it was fabulous. So we just parked in the parking lot at the golf club and we walked in. Um, I did try to call ahead just to see if we needed to make a booking and they just said no bookings, first come first serves. So we said, you know what, let's drive all the way out there because at least if we can't get in, we see the island and then we had some other places we could probably go find something at uh, more inland. So that was the game plan. We pulled up and it's just a really charming golf club. Uh, we walked right in and they said, absolutely, we have a table right on the porch. You can go sit outside and have lunch. We were probably eating lunch around, I would say like two or 3 p.m. I forget when we arrived there. No, probably 2 p.m. I think is when we arrived. And it was so nice to sit on the porch. We've actually been trying to sit mostly inside while in Charleston because it's just been so hot and humid. But the porch was amazing because it overlooks the golf course, it overlooks the beach, and there's awesome breezes coming in from the water. So with kind of the shady patio, the breeze, it just was perfection and it's easy to think that like a golf club would be fancy now there were a lot of guys in like khaki shorts and polo shirts you know obviously coming from playing golf kind of thing uh, we were dressed pretty casually I'm just wearing like a little kind of uh, beach beachy kind of tunic dress with a pair of white sneakers and my mom was just wearing a pair of kind of um, capri pants and like a kind of a nice top. My dad was wearing just like a Nike top and Nike shorts and sneakers. So we were not dressed like fancy for a golf club and there were no kind of restrictions on this. The food menu was great. So we sat down, both of my parents ordered the crab cake sliders and I ordered the fish tacos, which was 
um, like a local kind of grilled white fish with guacamole, pico de gallo, and it was so good. And the crazy thing is all of like the things that fall under the sandwiches on the menu, so like the crab cake sliders, the tacos, they come with a free side. So I had a crab, I had my fish tacos and a Caesar salad. <laughs> so random and my parents also opted for salads with theirs but you could get like onion rings and there were all these kind of side options and I think all of the menu options were probably between like 15 and 20 dollars and then drinks of course on top of that but we just had like iced teas and water so but it was just no one you know it was very relaxed no one rushed us my dad loved being able because from where we were sitting on the porch he was able to see people kind of playing their last hall like hole of golf so he was really into that and i would just really recommend it it's it is a long drive to get all the way out there but once you're out there, you also, um, from the golf club, there is an access point to the beach, so you're already parked. It's a very windy beach. Um, but it was so nice because after we had lunch, we just went and took a really short little walk on the beach just to take some pictures and enjoy it, which I don't know if it's as windy as it was for us all the time, but could be a good hack, I guess, if you just wanna go take a little stroll after lunch. So, would highly recommend that. <laughs> And then by the time we were done with kind of our lunch and our beach walk, it was 4 p.m. and we knew it was gonna take us about an hour to drive back to Charleston. So we just decided to head back and we did see some of the clouds rolling in as well. And it eventually started to rain on our drive home. So I think we left at the perfect time. I would have loved to have gone to see the public beach just to compare it, but you know, always good to leave something behind for next time, right? So. <laughs> So thanks again guys for tuning in today. This is gonna conclude my video. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button. And um, I do have two other videos on Charleston. Um, so definitely check those out. I wanna see like what to do downtown in Charleston. Uh, recommendation of where I'm staying, some great restaurants. Both of those videos are going to contain a lot on that. And then I'm also going to do one more video on my last day in Charleston tomorrow with some more sightseeing and exploring. So if you do like this video, also please hit that like button because that helps me know what kind of videos you guys like. And please leave a comment down below. Have you been to Charleston before? Do you have any questions for me as you're planning your trip? Have you been anywhere amazing? Leave it in a comment below so other people who are researching and planning their trips can learn from your wisdom. Would love that. And, you know, hopefully I'll see you again soon. So thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you in my next video.